So archetypes and their application in leadership. So what happens is as our we have a leadership style, so there's lots and lots of things you can understand in terms of the way you lead. But the archetypes, the 12 archetypes, there will be two, typically there are two, that are more dominant as your style of leadership. And if you can understand this, you understand again, when people walk through the door and you have conversations with them, you can realise how their archetypes can trigger off a particular response in you. You'll understand that in a way it's an unconscious filter for how you react to challenges that they bring you. But the other really good reason to understand archetypes in terms of your leadership style is that whatever other leadership development you do, you learn and filter it through your primary leadership archetype. So it will only ever be as powerful as it is in terms of alignment with your archetype. Typically, two styles out of the ones I've just said, they will have two approaches from, from an archetypal perspective. And it's useful to know how you filter things and how you see the world. Um, that's how you, because that's how you come across. That's how you appear to the people that you lead. But you also then understand that if for somebody you are leading, if this archetype that you embody is one that they, at the moment, are struggling with, they will not connect with you as a leader. Mm. It is you. You are yeah. being you. So you are being authentic. Yeah. But they will struggle to connect with you as a leader. Mm. That's the fundamental thing, isn't it? So when people say, oh, there's a personality crash or whatever, that's really what it is. They're just jarring with that.